distributive property. We're gonna learn all about the distributive property over addition and the distributive property over subtraction. My name's Jason Jacobs. It's an honor and pleasure to be here to teach you all about the distributive property. Hey, let's get going, guys. So the distributive property over addition says that if you have A, and then when it's right by the parentheses, guys, that means you multiply, okay? So A times the quantity B times C. So what I like to do, it, it looks like this. A times B plus, there's the over addition part, and then you go A times C. So A times B plus A times C. So basically, the A distributes to the B, and the A distributes to the C. A times B plus A times C, just like that. Now the distributive property over subtraction will have a subtraction sign like right here. So you go A times B minus a times C. A times B minus A times C. So let's look here. This is the distributive property over addition. So we go 3 times X. Well, that's 30X. Plus 3 times 2. 3 times 2, which is 6. So they might make you do this. 3 times X plus 3 times 2. And then go to that. All right, my six looks a little weird because I was writing three at first. So three X plus six. Again, the three distributes to the X and the three distributes to the two. All right, and remember, when it's right next to the parentheses, that means you're multiplying. They might even have a multiplication symbol here. Why do you think we don't have a multiplication symbol here? Because it kind of looks like the variable X, right? So anyway. This is distributive property over subtraction because of the subtraction sign here. Two times X minus two times four. I find the arrows really help, guys. So two times X, two times X minus two times four. So that simplifies to two X minus eight. Two X minus eight right there. Oh, common mistake that some people do is they'll say, like for example, in this one, 3x plus 6 is 9x. Wrong, wrong. These are unlike terms. If I were to model this out, I'm actually going to show you how to model this one out in just a second. And I'll explain like and unlike terms, guys. Hey, this is a pretty advanced one here. You guys think you can do it? I think you can do it. Notice we're distributing over one, two, three terms. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction. So it's not too hard. We just go the four distributes to the x squared, the four distributes to the three x, and the four distributes to the four. So let's do it, guys. Four times x squared is four x squared, plus four times three x is 12 x, plus four times four is 16. So notice how we distribute it out and we get four X squared plus 12 X plus 16. And we can't combine, this is a different term, that's a different term and that's a different term. So an X plus two, this is X plus two. And how many of these X plus twos do I have? I have three guys. So watch this, X plus two and another X plus two. I have one, two, three X plus twos. Notice X plus two three times equals one, two, three X's and six circles. So that's a model of it. Guys, I'm gonna do some for you right now. So get out a paper and pencil and I'm gonna give you three problems to do and you can do it for your distributive property lesson today. There they are guys, pause the video and do it. I'll do a little dance while we wait. Pause the video. All right, did you pause the video? Hope so. Okay, guys, let's do it. Here we go. So you distribute the four to the X. So you have four times X and four times three. So for this one, you get four X plus 12. Four X plus 12. This was the distributive property over addition. Now this one's the distributive property over subtraction. So seven times X minus seven times two. And you have seven X minus 14. And now for the hardest one. Let's see if you guys got it. The five 
distributes to all three terms inside the parentheses. And we have five times x squared is five x squared plus five times seven is 35 x plus five times three is 15. So we have five x squared plus 35 x plus 15 there. Distributive property, part two. Hey, this is part two to learning all about the distributive property. If you missed part one, I'll, I'll quickly show you. We have the distributive property over addition here. Two times the quantity, x plus five. So we would go two times x plus two times five. You see how the two distributes all the way over. So we have two x plus 10, two x plus 10 there. Two times x is two x. 2 times 5 is 10. All right, now, sometimes you'll get problems like this without variables. In this case, if they want this shown in the distributive property way, we've got to find a common factor. The greatest common factor would be the best one. So what's the greatest common factor of 14 and 35? What goes into both 14 and 35 evenly for both of them? Did you get seven? Seven's correct. So seven factors in there. And now you have this here. So just like I did here, we're kind of going from this point to this point. Seven times what is 14? If you said two, you're correct. Two goes here, good job. Now seven times what is 35? If you said five, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Good, so seven times five is 35. So 14 plus 35 is the same as seven times two plus five. So without all the like lines and everything, seven times two plus the quantity two plus five. This equals this. Now, eight X plus 16. What's the greatest common factor of eight X and 16? What goes into both eight and 16? Eight does. So we're gonna factor out eight. Eight times what equals eight X? Eight times what equals eight X? That's right, X, just X. Eight times X is eight X. Plus eight times what is 16? Eight times two, you got it. Eight times two is 16. So this would be your answer right here. 12x and 20. 12x plus 20. What's the greatest common factor of 12 and 20? If you said four, you're correct. So four factors out. Now, four times what equals 12x? That's right, three x. Four times three x is 12 x. Plus, and then four times what is 20? Five. So four times the quantity three X plus five equals 12 X plus 20. They're equivalent expressions. So now three X plus 18, you guys try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause it, see if you get it. I do a little dance. Okay. What goes into both three X and 18? Did you say three? That's right. So three and then three times what is three X? So X plus, if this were a minus, you would put minus a subtraction sign. Three times what equals 18? That's right, six. So it's really just the reverse of this one. That's the distributive property part two, guys. My name is Jason Jacobs. Please like and subscribe, and I'll check you out on our next math video. Keep doing your math, guys. Bye.